I have a, a question about something that's very commonly asked, searched, and now has even like dedicated Snapchat channels to. The BBL, very popular procedure. Very, very popular procedure. There's also a high rate when I go through the research in talking about it, um, of young women losing their lives, having serious complications, specifically around embolisms, fatty embolisms. Do you wanna to talk to the viewers and tell them what is this potential risk? What is the procedure? How often it happens? And what your recommendations would be on something like that? So BBL stands for Brazilian butt lift. And essentially it is taking fat from a different part of your body and injecting it into the butt. And upwards up until a few years ago, we thought that this was the safest way to enhance the buttocks. And as we know, our society and our culture, it's really focused on the derriere. Unfortunately, studies have now shown that it has the highest mortality rate, death rate, in all of plastic surgery. There was a study that showed that literally one in 3,000 women who undergo this surgery die from it. And these are and healthy pre-screened women. So these, these are aren't healthy, like These are young women, folks. and yeah. often they're young women of color uh, who want to undergo this operation. So I don't think that it's not a safe operation. I think there are unsafe ways to perform it. And in general, there are plastic surgeons around the country who do, that's almost all they do is Brazilian butt lifts. And they do it very safely because they know where you can inject the fat, which is in the subcutaneous layer, which is above the muscle, and where you don't inject the fat, which is below the muscle. But where I caution patients is to be very careful if the person who's doing it on you is not a true expert in it. You don't want somebody dabbling in your butt. You want only a true expert to do it because when somebody's dabbling and they don't know those planes very well, that's when people die. And I describe it as kind of like the Death Star where like you get these two missiles that go right to the, the right part of the Death Star and the Death Star whole thing blows up. That's what, a, that's what a fat embolism can be, is you get fat that is injected into a blood vessel and it goes right to your heart and your lungs and you die like that. You know, as you know, Dr. Mike, it's crazy how fast people can die from it. And the crazy, the even worse thing is these are young, healthy women who yeah. undergo this operation. It's scary. Yeah, because prior to this, my knowledge of fatty embolisms came from, you know, femur fractures. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about it with Brazilian butt lifts. Uh, it's scary with young, healthy women losing their lives from a, an elective procedure. That's, that's something that people really need to take into consideration when going for a procedure of the caliber. Um, I, I will say, Dr. Yoon, I never thought on this channel I would hear a fellow physician say that you don't want someone dabbling in your butt and it actually be <laughs> an accurate medical statement. So well done on that. What about um, complication rates with BBLs, liposuction, how long does it last? Because you know a lot of patients think they get it one time, they're good. Well, no, if you don't continue that healthy lifestyle, it's not as simple. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I think the issue with the BBL too is that you know some doctors are, are injecting massive quantities of fat into the buttocks. Now, when you're young and you've got young, tight skin and somebody injects a liter of fat into each butt cheek, your skin may be good to hold that up. But as we all know, as we get older, that skin gets looser and those ligamentous connections get stretched out and they're not as, as strong and taut as they used to be. And what we don't have are examples of how women are 20 years later, 25 years later, after a Brazilian butt lift where a liter or a liter and a half of fat has been injected into their butt. How's it gonna look like at that point? Is your butt gonna be sagging over the backs of your thighs? You know, what's it gonna look like you have to, whenever you consider these procedures, really take into account kind of, you know, how you're going to be later on. It's funny because I get patients who are in their 30s who want cosmetic treatments and they say, oh, when I'm 40, I won't care how I look. Yeah. And then people who are, they're 40, they go, oh, when I'm 60, I won't care how I look. And then I get people who are 60, like, oh, when I'm 75, I won't care. We always care. Yes. It doesn't matter. We always care how we look. So you have yeah. to always look at the future.